All right, let's go over the isometric side split repetitions. So this is an end range strength exercise for our side splits. It's gonna help us develop more strength and conditioning in those most lengthened end ranges so that we can access them and express them much easier. Then they will start to become a bit more tolerable and comfortable for us to, to spend time in those end ranges. And eventually over time, we'll be able to expand our range further and unlock new ranges. So to set this exercise up, we're going to need some sort of support in front of us that we can actually place our hands down onto so that we have a chance to rest in between our repetitions of isometric contractions. And that's also just gonna help us get down into our end range in the first place when we're actually getting set up to start our set. Now the support that we're using needs to be high enough off the floor that when we're in our end range, we can actually still reach it with our hands. We can use the hands for some support while remaining in a relatively upright position. Now you don't have to be perfectly vertical over the hips, but we don't want to be bent over forward because then in order to come up into our isometric position, you have to do all this movement rather than just letting go. So for example, you can use a bench or a chair, you can use yoga blocks, parallel bars, or even work from the floor if you're able to get that deep into the position. So just make sure that the support you're using is the appropriate height for your current level of ability. So with our hands on the support, we're going to assume the side split position, and we're just going to simply slide down as deep as we can into the position and find our end range. And this is going to be the start position that we're working from. And the pro tip I have for you is to make sure that you're working on a surface that promotes sliding as much as possible, because the more friction there is on the surface that we're working on, the more resistance we're going to need to overcome to actually expand deeper into the position. So once we're all set up in our starting position, we're going to flex our quads, we're gonna flex the hips, think about squeezing the glutes, finding your best anterior pelvic tilt that you can. And we're also going to flex the adductors. So you wanna think about squeezing the floor together with your feet as if to, to pull them in together. And from here, once we've maximized the tension in our hips, we're gonna let go of the support. I like to bring my hands on my hips like this, and we're going to squeeze the floor, maintain that contraction for five to 10 seconds. Then we're going to return back to the support and rest a second in between our reps, because if we're really working in our end range, you should not be able to isometrically hold that position for much longer than 10 seconds. Otherwise, you're not truly in your end range. And once you're ready, we can, again, create those contractions, flex the glutes, anterior tilt the pelvis, flex your hips, flex your adductors, squeeze the floor, three, four, five, and then we're gonna return back to the support. And if you feel like you have the ability to, we can slide a little bit deeper into the position if you're comfortable too. If not, that is totally fine too. We just wanna make sure that we're isolating our end range, our deepest position. And then again, another repetition. One, two, three, four, five. And return back to the support. So the idea of this exercise is to perform intervals of isometric contractions loaded by our body weight for five to 10 seconds each rep. We really wanna be working from our absolute end range or as close to it as we can get. So definitely try to work your way into deeper ranges whenever you can. And you should probably find that over the course of a set or multiple sets that you're actually able to expand the range that we're working from. Now, as a general recommended prescription, I would advise to perform three sets of five reps of this exercise, again, holding each rep for five to 10 seconds. So I hope this video serves you well. If you did find it helpful, please hit the like button to let me know. Feel free to leave any thoughts, questions, or comments in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more flexibility content just like this. I'll see you in the next video, maestros.